Hi, we're going to um, have a look at stratified sampling today. This is um, a question from uh, the homework that I've set for my year nines. It says the table shows the number of pupils in each year at Clivenbrook Community College. Um, Emma does a survey to find out what types of TV programs people like to watch. She decides to interview 70 pupils. So that means that there's a whole school's worth of people here, but she's only going to choose 70 people to give her surveys to. Use a stratified sampling technique to decide how many pupils should be asked from each year. So this is asking us to work out if the proportions were kept the same, how many year sevens we would have to choose, how many year eights we would have to choose to make a total of 70. So I'm just going to highlight two different methods that you can use uh, to keep the proportions the same while making the total equal to 70. So here I've summarized the data. I'm going to call this method uh, just straight division. Um, and with this method, what you need to know, first of all, is the total number of people in the school as a whole. So here is the original data. And the total number, if you add all of those up, comes to 840 students. So what does that mean? That means that there are 840 students in the population of the school. We use the word population to describe everybody that we're talking about in this investigation. We've got 840 people in the population. The sample that we want to take has got a total of 70. We want there to be 70 people in the sample. So what we've got to do is we've got to work out how to divide or what to divide 840 by to make 70. Okay. In other words, this is the problem. 840 divided by what makes 70. And the way to solve that problem is actually just to see how many 70s go into 840. In other words, switch it around and do 840, if you can see that, divided by 70 gives you an answer of 12. So the number that goes in this box here would be a 12. In other words, if we're going to shrink this population down to 70 from 840, we need to divide by 12. And if we're dividing that total by 12, to keep everything else in proportion, we're going to divide every number by 12. Every single number will be divided by 12. Now, I've just done that, um, and we've made 14.42, 12.25, etc. These numbers along the bottom here are the results of having divided by 12. So 173 divided by 12 gives you 14.42. I've rounded that to two decimal places. Now, obviously, we can't choose 14.42 people from year seven. So we need to do a bit of rounding here. And what all I'm going to do is follow the normal rules for rounding and make sure all of these numbers are rounded up or down appropriately. Up if the first number so the first decimal place is five or more, and down if the first decimal place is less than five. So let's just check what these rounded figures add up to. We've got 14 plus 12 plus 14 plus 12 plus 12 plus 4 plus 2. They do indeed make 70, which is good. So this means that the total number of year sevens that this person wants to ask um, will be 14. The total number of year eights that this person will want to ask is 12. The total number of year nines is 14, etc. And all she has to do is find 14 year sevens and give them a questionnaire, probably randomly selecting those 14 students uh, to ensure that it's fair. And then randomly select 12 year eight students and give them a questionnaire and randomly select 14 year nine students and give them a questionnaire, etc., until she's given out all 70 of her questionnaires in the correct proportions. Now, there's a second method that you can use if you don't like the division method, um, which I'm going to call fractions. So here we have the same data again, and this time I've added another column, sorry, another row to the table, which says fraction. 
We already added up the total when we did the first method, so the total is 840. The fraction that I'm looking for is, is really the proportion out of 840 in each year group. So in year 7, there are 173 out of 840. In year 8, there are 147 out of 840, etc. If I just fill those in quickly. So you can see I've filled in those fractions. And basically, what we're going to say is the number of year 7s that we choose has got to be the same proportion, so the same fraction, but out of 70 this time because we want to have a total number of 70 students. So the total number of year 7s that I'm going to choose is 173 out of 840 multiplied by 70 which is 14 and 5 twelfths. OK, and again, we're going to want to round that number in a minute. But if I just go through and fill in the other fractions, you'll see how this is done. So you can see now that I have um, worked out all these fractions out of 70. So I've worked out for the year eights, the original fraction was 147 out of 840. That's the proportion of students who are in year eight. And we want that same proportion of 70 students, which is 12 and a quarter. Again, year nines, let's just do that one again. 166 out of 840 is the proportion of year nines in the whole school. We want that same proportion, 166 out of 840, but this time we want it of 70 students, the same proportion, but of 70 students, which is 13 and 5 sixths. If I just round those quickly, you'll notice that we're getting the same answers as we did with the first method. And some of your calculators will even, um, you know, turn these fractions into decimals for you so that you have a bit, of, bit better luck rounding. Then all we do is check that those add up to 70. Uh, which in this case they do, and you've worked out the right number of students to be collecting or asking data uh, in each year group.